Hi everyone, welcome to the War Kyrgyz Tutorials. My name is Bakit and I'll be helping throughout this process. So today we'll learn about the auxiliary part of speech in Kyrgyz. As there are several types of auxiliary parts of speech, we'll have two episodes on them. In this video, we'll focus on conjunctions. Conjunctions are words that do not have any lexical meaning when they stand alone and connect words to words and sentences, sentences in a sentence. In Kyrgyz, conjunctions are called bailamtalar. Conjunctions are divided into two categories, the simple conjunctions and complex conjunctions. The conjunctions is simple if it consists of only one word. For instance, jana, menen, antkeni, sebebi, da, birok. Meanwhile, if it consists of two or more words, then it's complex conjunction. For example, oshol sebeptu, jebol voso, antkeni menen, oshentseda, and antseda, and etc. Don't worry about the definitions of those conjunctions. I will explain them later on. For now, let's have a look at the division of conjunctions according to their meanings. So the first type of conjunction is balanstrgic conjunction. It's otherwise connecting conjunctions. For instance, menen, jana, which mean with, and the conjunctions da means to. So their function is to connect unrelated words phrases and simple sentences in a complex sentence. Let's see an example. Temirlan menen merim çoğu tamaqtan ışat. Temirlan and merim eat together. Men başlığımdı da, telefonumdu da çoğutu aldım. I lost both my backpack and my phone. Another type is bocomoldoğuç conjunction, otherwise predicting conjunction. For instance, it's c which means or, or bolboso, which means otherwise, and another one is je bolboso, which means otherwise as well. Their function is to connect words with the same meaning or simple sentences in a complex sentence in order to make predictions. Let's see an example. Eğer oturuşğa jeselge çıksan, meni de çakırıp alçı suranıç. If you go to a party or for a walk, invite me too, please. Sen başka cahta cahşayt durbaysın mı? Bol bolso, uyuyun o jetkirip koymak mı? You live in the other place, otherwise, I would give you a ride home. So another type is karşılağıç conjunction or contrasting conjunctions. For example, birok, which means but, antseda, which means even though, another one is oşantkeni menen, which means although. So they are conjunctions that connect simple sentences in a complex sentence and express the opposite meaning between them. Let's see an example. Timuçin tulgan kungo bargısı keldi, birok vaqt taba albadı. Timuçin wanted to go to the birthday, but could not find time to go. Talaybek jaxşı oqıt, oşant kendimenin matematikadan aqsayt. Although Talaybek is weak in math, he studies well. Another type would be sebeb natija, which is cause and effect conjunction. And the first one would be antkeni, which means because. And the similar one, sebebi, means because as well. And the another one would be oshol sebebtu, which means that's why. So these are conjunctions uh, that connect the main and the subordinate clauses in a complex sentence. For instance, jakında Kanikulga chigabiz. Antkeni semester ayaqtay. We'll be on a vacation soon because the semester will be over. Kech kirib qaldı. Oshol sebepti Deniz taksi menen ketuni chechdi. It's getting late. That's why Deniz decided to go by taxi. Another type of conjunction is salıştırma conjunction. So it's the comparing conjunction. So the words would be qancha and oshoncho. So it's the similar to the, the sentence, and the. Another one would be kandai and oshondoi. It's the and the as well. So these conjunctions used to compare the main and subordinate clauses in a complex sentence system too. So that sounds hard, but let's see an example. Kanchaluk kub mashaksan, oshoncholuk kuchtu bolosong. The more you practice, the stronger you will be. Another one would be 
Кандай мамиля калсан, ошондой джоб аласан. The way you treat other people, the similar response you will get. Another one is шарту conjunction, which is conditional conjunctions. This might be pretty familiar to you. If not, check the episodes 59 and 25. So, it's эгер, which means if, or эгерде, which means the if as well. So, these are the conjunctions being a part of a complex sentence and express the condition in the main sentence. So, let's see an example. Эгер ахтан сабахты убағында атқарса, атасынан белег алады. If Ахтан completes his homework on time, he receives a gift from his father. Егер де ал жоғырқу билим алса, келечекте көптеген егіліктерге жетшет. If she gets a higher education, she will achieve many goals in the future. Wow, that was a lot of material to cover. Great job so far. Now, let's play a game. We should read a sentence and try to put the correct conjunction that matches the context. Let's see. So the first sentence is Conjunction. Arsende akcha bar bolgondo motorcycle satvalmak. If Arsen had money, he would buy a motorcycle. So which conjunction would you put? So the correct answer would be eger. Let's see another one. Aybek jumushka kelgen jok. Conjunction. Al orup kalptar. Aybek did not come to the work because he was sick. So which conjunction should you put? The correct answer is antkeni. Let's see another one. Aygerim abdan köp çetlilerdi bilet. Conjunction. Fransuz tilin bilbeyt eken. Aygerim knows a lot of foreign languages, but she doesn't know French. So which conjunction should you put? The right answer is birok, which means but. Another one is adam. Conjunction, көп китеп оқыса, conjunction, аң сезими жоғыр олайды. The more a person reads books, the more their horizon widens. So which one should you put? So the correct answer would be, қандай ошын чолық. Жазгүл, conjunction, акинай, мектепке чоғы барыша. Жазгүл and акинай go to school together. So which one should you put? So the correct answer is менен. Бұл жылы жайында сары челеке, conjunction, ұсық көлгі барсам бұл деп, кечал бай тұрам. I can't decide whether to go to ұсық көл or to сары челек this summer. So which one should you put? So the right answer is же. Great job so far. That's it for today. But don't forget that's a two-part episode, so the next one we will learn about the linking words. But for now, that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you think this lesson was useful, you may like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Stay tuned, we want you to learn. Görüşkence!